time for the war cry. War cry. This one for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Levi. Can't forget about the bros in the North Tribe. North Tribe. Enough said that we serving to the Most High. Most high. And it's no lie, no lie. on the Most High. Most we high. teach the laws in this, earth. in this earth. The Lord touched my mouth, He said, Use His words. He made me a prophet from birth. From birth. This work, it ain't for the weak. Nah. This earth, it ain't for me. Uh -uh. This war ain't carnal but spiritual. For the battle here is not flesh not meat, fleshly. but the flesh weak. So I press so feet on the laws of God, so don't test don't me. Test and when it's time for war, the bro sounds the horn. I'm like a beast unleashed. You can't tame me. You preachers like cowards. cowards. You ain't rightly dividing the word of truth. You worship the creature instead the creator. Your hour is coming to mutilate you. Oh, true. You washed and you dipped in the blood of the lamb. Gee, golly, goddamn, I don't understand. If pastor's right, man, then where is the man? Who stands in the midst of seven golden lamps? Ain't no time to dance, we pull up our pants. We marry not now, but surely it's near. He who wants wisdom, then peace give it near. Put on from the fear. Put on from the fear. The whole armor of God is what we need to wear. All of the lights is like a chandelier. So we're going into, like we said, this is the New Jerusalem. He's, he's discussing the kingdom right now, the kingdom of heaven. It had 12 gates. So there's 12 gates. Like I said, a lot of people think there's one big gate and just a long line of people, but there's 12 gates. Read. It had the gates, 12 angels. So there's an angel, back to what we was talking about. There's an angel at each gate. Why do you think there's an angel at each gate? Exactly. The okay. same reason you got a bouncer at the at the club at the door, cause he he checking who's coming in and who's not. Keep going. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Right. So the the kingdom of heaven has twelve gates for these twelve tribes, not twelve tribes and then another gate for the stranger like him. There's no gate for him. All right. Read that last part again. Right. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel? So if you're not a child of Israel, the kingdom is not for you. That's right, that's right. right. But you, I could be wrong. You look like you're from the tribe of Judah, American black. Am I right? You're a Negro? No, I ain't no Negro. Okay, well, that's what they call us. But really? I'm a Moorish American. Okay, okay, that's, that's what you say. But really, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. What, what does that profit you being, being a Moorish American? It just sounds good to you, right? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what. I teach you. You teach your opinion. Yeah, I know a little something. I ain't know. Okay. Okay. Well, we 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 gonna we gonna always learn some shit. Yeah, yeah. I want you to be even more proud to call yourself an Israelite. Go to Deuteronomy seven and six, and both of y'all listen up. Bring it out. All right. So so. Moorish American. It just sounds good, and y'all fry up white people. I've seen that. That happens. I mean, Moorish. That comes from. People being brought to America and how America was originated. Okay, you know now saying? you know the Israelites were more, though. More just mean black. More, more means more, more means black educated. More, more means more, more means black educated. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. More, that's more okay. is, it means black, yeah, you right, but more is more of a person than, okay. than a color, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, okay. It, okay. it can't be a white moor. Right, right, I agree. Now I want to show you what God says about the Israelites. This is your God, what he says about y'all two. Alright? And all these men standing back here who at one time thought we was just niggas. This the, let this scripture lift up lift up your spirits. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. So the so-called blacks and Hispanics, the Haitians, the Jamaicans, the Negroes, the, the Dominicans, all that, they are what? But thou art a holy people. We are holy people, too. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto God. We. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So what's that mean? He had choices. There's Arabs, there's Africans, there's Chinese. He's not worried about that. He's worried about the people on this sign who we showed y'all the kingdom of heaven is for. We. Right. To be a special people. Right. We are a special people, too. Unto himself. Unto himself. Because we damn sure not a special people to the white man or any of these other people. But why do we care? We're a special people to who? Unto himself. We're a special people to God. So why would anybody reject this truth when it's the only book that exalts you, us as a people? Why are we going through all this oppression, getting killed? You got you got this book telling you. This, this is America, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? America was never for the black man. 
never since day one. Right, right. So the impression we never stop. You know what right. I'm saying? But they never stop never, one day. But the, you, you, the black man will never understand the message because we are in the verse. You know what I'm saying? The message will never get out. The message will never be heard. Because since birth as a black man, you were taught that you are a slave because you were taught American history. American history isn't world history. But well, what do you mean the message won't get out? It's getting out right now. We we can do, we have the right to do this. You, you, do, you got the right to do it. You got the right yeah. to do it. And I got the message. You feel me? I still preach the message to my brothers as well. So what's the message though? Man, you got to be a powerful black man. What about you an Israelite? Power. You have to empower yourself. I mean, I'm not too sure of the Israelites. I'm not, I am saying, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't never really studied that all like that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just study, I just study and I just pay attention to black history in America and how black culture has changed over the past 500 years. Right. You know what I'm saying? And due to the fact that we are Americans in America, black culture will never re-empower itself to where it used to be because this is America and this right. is the land of the white man. Right. You know what I'm saying if we try to take it back, we're going to be wiped clean like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. like in South Africa and what happened with Mandela. You know what I'm saying? It, now, it can let happen here. Let me ask you this. Because I know there's a lot of different beliefs, doctrines out here. So, do you believe you're an African? I believe, I believe I am of African descent. I've never been to Africa, so I can't. Okay, let me I show you something. I, I, I can't claim myself. Okay, get him an Exodus. All right, I want you to see Exodus, some that, that, that was said in the book of Exodus. Read uh, first 11 and 7. So, I want you to see. That's actually one of the lies of the white man, that we're Africans. He taught us that. Why? Because he doesn't want you to know what we just read. You're special to God. That's what the that's what the white man does never want you to know. Oh, yeah, you can yeah. call yourself all type of stuff, but guess what? Like He's still gonna rule over you. Right. I'm sorry? Like how Africa is the motherland. That's not what the Bible says. I, I believe that I believe that Africa is the motherland of life. Okay, okay. And, now look, now look. Life, and life and life traveled across the world and due to climate control, you know what I'm saying, and how things are in other parts of the world, you know what I'm saying, you have different you have different ethnicities that develop. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got you have you have Asians over in the Asian area. You know what I'm saying? Like Chinese people live like that over there. They look like that. Now, you the got, thing, bro. You got, you the got thing, Hispanic bro. people on the islands. You know what I'm saying? In the right. Caribbean, down Thank by you. Mexico, where water is and everything like that. This is the thing, bro. This is the thing. That's common. That's common. That's the common knowledge that they taught us in, sh in school. That we Africans, we have African American history. You gotta think that that's to keep you asleep, bro. To, as long as you think you're African, because understand, the Africans sold us to white people. They right. want us to think we're Africans yeah, too. Yeah, right, right, we're right. not Africans. I'm going to show you. But you can't show be you. mad at Africans for doing that though. You may commence. Proceed. Oh, now I don't gotta be mad. Christ is mad. He's gonna, he, he's, they're going into slavery. Right. Well, I'm gonna show you all this. Slavery? Slavery's been a part of man. And, and it will continue to be. It will continue to be. We don't have no problem with that. Wait. We're gonna show you all this. <laughs>
Just listen up. Exodus chapter 11 verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel, against any of these children of Israel, you included, shall not a dog move his tongue. Now, is he talking about a dog or is he calling the other nations dog? Keep listening. Against man or beast. So these dogs can't talk against our animals. All right, read. That ye may know how that the Lord don't put a difference between Egyptians and Israel. The Lord put a difference between the Africans and the Israelites. Read that again. Which means what? We're not, we're not Africans. Africans descend from Ham. We descend from Shem. No, I had three sons, Japheth, uh, uh, Shem, and, and Ham. We come from Shem. Just because they look like us don't mean that we're African. Read Galatians 4.26. Instead of you exalting your land, which is Jerusalem, the white man has deceived you, and the African, they've deceived you into, into exalting the African land. But that's not what the Bible says. The book that exalts you doesn't agree with that statement. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem is above. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the what? Which is the mother of us all. So I, I, and I want you to ask yourself, where did you really learn that Africa is the motherland? That's that word of mouth. That's what we learn in school. No, it's not, bro. It's not. Jerusalem is is, is above Africa. It's over in the Middle East, what they call the Middle East, but it was, it was never a part of Africa. Yeah, but that's cool. The Middle East is more of an African term. You want it to be. You want it to be. Your Middle East is a European term. You know what I'm saying? Like, we would never... So is Africa. Black, black is an American term. Black so is Africa. Before America was established, we weren't black people. So, so let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. Is Africa not a European term? A lot of people yes, don't know this. Right. So, so Jerusalem was here before every, it was called Africa. That we speak of is European like all, all this, all but Jerusalem. The names of the places you name but listen, listen. Jerusalem was here before it was called Africa. Jerusalem is not in Africa. That that name was given over the last thousand years. Right. So you know what it is? It's because you because you deep inside you love Africa. You're still trying to get power to Africa. But the African is beneath you. Right. Read Revelation. Now the thing is the thing. And I hope you, you 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 stick to what you said. The Africans did they or did they not sell us to the white man? Watch this. Thirteen and nine. Now this you gotta understand. The white man sold us. I mean, and he sold us to each other. The Africans sold us to the white man. The Arabs they sold us in slavery. All these other races of people have sold us into slavery. Who have we sold? Yeah, we ain't sold nobody. Listen, listen. I understand what you're saying. My man, now, who, now just answer the question. Who did we sell? Because he said the right answer. Now watch this. Now watch this. You tell me who this applies to. We started now. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Why did Christ say this? Because everyone he was talking to had ears. But he knew everybody can't handle what's about to come out. Right? You, you ready to hear though. He ready to hear. He, he that leadeth into captivity. The African led us into captivity. The white man led us into captivity. Read it again. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So you said that slavery has always been the case. All praises to the Most High. Because we're going to own them. Right. They're going to be our slaves. And that's righteous judgment. But guess what? If you still think you're an African, how are you going to be able to fulfill this prophecy? That means you're supposed to go into slavery. But I'm, the point I'm trying to make is, is slavery, slavery's been a part of the world since the beginning of man. You know, so people were enslaved back in, in ancient times for, for, being, for being criminals, rapists, you know what I'm saying, who, who brought, brought uh, crimes against the tribes. They enslaved those people. You know what I'm saying? The problem with the situation now is the only person that made slavery personal was the white man. So, so for Africans to sell the black man in slavery, you can't be mad at the African because the African didn't understand what the white man was going to do to the black man. You know what I'm saying? Slavery, slavery, that was part of trade back in the ancient times. That that was never that was never I'm a rule you. Know slavery became I'm a slavery became I'm a destroy your culture when the white man bought the black man. That's when slavery you. became uh, culture. Let me show you something. I know. Because you, you're, you're giving them this benefit of the doubt. I'm not giving them no benefit. They was cutting out balls. Errors was cutting out balls. That was the devil's all safe cards. Look at this. That's an Arab man. Look at what he's doing to your sister. I mean, I understand that. So he's got to pay. But slavery comes with fighting. You're not going to lay down as a slave. 
You know what I'm okay. saying? You, you're gonna fight back as a slave no matter what the fuck you did. You could have raised other women, but if I was a smack you, you used to smack me back. Okay, but look, look, look. And I'm not denying that slavery happened. I'm saying that they're going into slavery and that's gonna be the end of slavery. Watch this, Daniel 718. This is the last slavery that'll ever exist in earth. Right. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints, we are the saints. The children of Israel are, do you, you disagree? Let Psalms 140 and 14. No, no, I just realized I can't just make these statements without proving it to you. Go to Psalms 148. I'm not arguing with you. you, you, you no, 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 no. I, I agree with everything no, you No, no, no. We got, we, we got to, we got to pull down the strongholds. What? We're not debating. We got to, you got strongholds in your mind. We got to remove that and, and show you you're a God according to the Bible. That's right. I, I, I always believe that, bro. Okay, okay, that. okay. But, but ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing you can teach me right now that ain't gonna make me believe I ain't no damn God. Well, that's, hey, that, that, that's how I know you, Israelite. That's how I know you, Israelite. Read verse 18. I mean, uh, 48, 14. Psalm so, 148, verse 14. That was Israelite talk. Africans don't even speak like that. Right. Bring it out. He also is of the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints. His saints. Even, even just means indeed of the children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the saints. Now go back to Daniel 7 and 18. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints, the children of Israel, of the Most High, shall take the kingdom. We are going to take the white man's kingdom. But but will it be? Will there be another slavery that will just continue because there's always been slavery? And possess the kingdom forever. Even forever and ever. God said it three times because it's over after this. That's right. Now don't get me wrong. We've been we've been in slavery for a long time. Go to Jeremiah 4, 2 and, uh, 2 and 14. Because we've been in slavery. And that's what sucks for us. But guess what? It's, when we take the kingdom, forever is a mighty long time. It said it forever and forever and ever. Dang. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Jeremiah's like, dang, are we some servants? We've been, we've been in an ancient Egyptian captivity, the uh, the Assyrian captivity, the Babylonian captivity, the Persian Mede captivity, the Roman captivity, the Greek captivity, the African captivity, the white man's captivity, the captivity after captivity. But read that, read that again. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? It's like, damn, we ain't never seen freedom. We still marching for freedom. Can you? Why is he spoiled? Now go to the back to Daniel 7 and 18. Because the question is, is he a homeborn slave? So my point I'm trying to show you, brother, is that when we take the kingdom, we're going to possess it forever. It ain't going to be no more slavery. You're going to be back on top. Matter of fact, go to Isaiah 14. Bring it out. Go to Isaiah 14. Because you got to understand, man, this Bible is for you. This Bible is only for you. These other races look at, they walk by, they don't even understand the words that's coming out. Right. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord, we have mercy on Jacob. God's going to have mercy on us. You don't say he's going to have mercy on Jacob and Ishmael and all these other nations. He's going to have mercy on these 12 tribes. Why? Right. Because we've been going through it. You could ask your grandma's grandma. She, 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 been, she, her back probably hurt. Keep going. And we'll yet choose Israel. And we'll choose Israel. Yet choose Israel. Why? Because even though we're acting like some niggas out here and killing each other, he's still, God's, God's down for Israel. We. And set them in their own land. What's our own land? Jerusalem. Right? And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers talking about these other races of people. They're walking by looking at us like simple niggas think there's something special. The strangers going to be joined with us. But how? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So they're going to they go, they're gonna, they're gonna cleave to us because of the destruction that's coming to America. Me? And the people shall take them. So we're going to say, oh, no problem. We're going to grab them by the collar. I know I am. Read. And bring them to their place. We're going to bring them to Jerusalem. Notice it says take. It's not like, you want to come with me? We're going to take them. I, I get like, I and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. So we're going to own them. Slavery. It's, except this time, we're going to own them. Right. That's great news. That's the gospel. You're right. You're right. All that is true. All that is Hold on, I got to two more words, two more words. And Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. We'll make sure it's clear. For sir, they're going to be our servants and our handmaids. I'll say, go get me some napkins and make it quick. And they shall take them captives whose 
captives they were. And you already know, we already know whose captives we were, the white man's that everybody know that. Right. But can you accept this scripture and be and repent as an Israelite? Because you can't inherit these blessings unless you go, okay, God, I thought I was an African, because we all we all had different beliefs. I thought I was an African, thought I was a Muslim, thought I was an Egyptian, whatever it may be. I thought I was a Christian, supposed to go to this crazy mega church, but you know what? I was wrong. I need to repent. I'm gonna keep your laws. I'm down. All right. Read that last part again. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Uh -huh. And they shall rule over their oppressors. They're going to rule over them. So what was you, what was you going to say? I believe I believe everything you're saying. Like how, how, you, how you talk about the Israelites and everything. Keep in mind, I ain't saying it. The Bible the Bible's saying I'm just showing. Oh, yeah, showing. yeah, yeah. You okay, okay. Facts and scripture. Yeah, you know yeah, okay, saying? yeah. But like, in modern day today, you know what I'm saying? In the situation that black people are in right now, I I I, I talk to a lot of black people, and they and they have the same views that you have. But I gotta ask them. You know what I'm saying? How do you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like like I believe in the scripture. The kingdom is within you. Right. You know what I'm saying? All this is within you. You can't you can't you can't live this in America today because it won't it won't happen. It won't happen. That the war has been lost. A long time ago, the war's right. been lost. So you saying, what do you do to get up, make all this happen? I mean, how do you, how do you get him to bring you the napkin? To bring you the napkin? How do you get him? To, how, how do you get him? First Kings 8, 846. 847. Because here's the thing, man. Without, without starting the war. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't starting no war because we gonna get gunned down. White man got too much guns. You know what I'm saying? That. I, mean, I could go out there and y'all be like... Black people don't realize that. Yeah. Because if, if black people was the really yeah, yeah. militaries in the streets, well, they, they, they ain't bring them tanks out when they was protesting for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a sad scene in America. And it's going to be wiped away from history as well. I, and, I, and, I, and I hear that. That's why I'm saying I, I agree with you because if we were to come out here like, you know what, I'm tired of this repression and just come out here with guns. I mean, we, we wilding, but they got helicopters. They're going to drop a bomb. Like, I mean, we wouldn't be know. wrong, though. Like how you how you how, how they used to police neighborhoods, how black families police our neighborhoods and mm -hmm. everything like that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that nowadays, for real, for real. Because yeah? because how 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 they portray black minds is we're radical, we're violent, we're this, we're that. You know what I'm saying? So even if you was to militarize, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like they wouldn't they 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 just they just gonna they just gonna kill each other. Like they just they just gonna kill each other. Like they wouldn't they 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 just gonna kill each other. Like they wouldn't they 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 just gonna kill each our, our fight is not about guns. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not carnal. So we don't get guns and all that and try to fight to win this war. But mighty through God to pulling down the stronghold. So first, by God through this Bible, we got to pull down the stronghold. Our people believe all type of stuff. We're not, that's why there's no unity. Because at the end of the day, everybody's got a deep philosophy. Divide and conquer. Right, exactly. Uh, so, so Jair, get that paper when you get a chance. Oh yeah, you can get that, John. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Verse, verse five, casting down imaginations. You gotta cast down imagination because a lot of our people just have these crazy imaginations. They think that they're right, and they're they're gonna die in their sin. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And, and one of those things is like you were saying, man, I'm a more. God's like, hold up, but the gates is for the 12 tribes of Israel. It say Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulun, Gad, Reuben, Asher, and Iskar, and Naphtali. Right. More? No, it's not there. So he's going to look at you like you're stupid. More is in the ethnicity. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Uh, more is in the ethnicity. More is more of a... It's a, it's, a, it's a term like how 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 the Black Panthers gathered each other and call themselves the Black Panthers. Okay. They they just happen to be black. But well, that's but, why the first thing you say should be I'm an Israelite. Oh yeah, and and I'm. I you never, call call yourself like, a more, but 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 you got to know your race. I never studied the Israelites. For I studied. No, I, I, I studied I the Israelites through Christianity and the Catholic Church because I went to private school. Okay, okay. So I'm very aware of Christianity and yeah, how America yeah. teaches Jesus. They be wild and they wild. Yeah, yeah they wild. And then when you study Islam, yeah. and when you study other forms of religion, you come to study, you come to realize how they are very similar. Mm -hmm. And then you come to see what really the fuck happened in America yeah. and how we had this image of this character. But this even though, even though, right you know what I'm saying? But but he is still, he he, he is the image of a white man, but he is still, you know what I'm saying, the spirit of God. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like, that is. I understand that. I understand that. This, this, but, is, but, a, this is a, this is a, devil, this right a devil, devil right here. That's the devil right there. But you know what I'm saying? He he still represents the Lord. In the Europeans' eyes, in the Europeans' eyes, you know, in the but Europeans not to us, or else we wouldn't be out here speaking I, against him. I, I, you're right, but I, like I said, I went to Catholic school. My they mama, they my pushed mama, this in your head, right? So did my mama. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really going to, you know what I'm saying, like that. You know what I'm saying? Even though I do believe the devil. You know what I'm saying? Because but you gotta the devil be honest. That's, your mind. The but devil look, bro, that's, that's, that's love to tell your mom that. But that's love to tell your mom the yeah, truth of, 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 of the devil. My mom ain't religious anyway. She don't give a damn about that white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, what exactly do you believe? Like, uh, you know, as far as God, I just want to know, like, what do you believe? I praise and believe in Allah. And Allah. I, I praise and believe in Allah. That's Islam. That's right. I am a Muslim. So, you're a Muslim? Yes, sir. We didn't know that. That's, that's, worship. that's idol worship. That's worshiping a rock. You know, Mecca is a rock. That's a rock. When they go around and they throw the little pebbles, they circle around it uh, counterclockwise seven times. Yeah, when you do your, uh, your, your, your highs to Mecca. <clears throat> so now we got a better understanding. So we're going to go to the Quran. Give me my Quran. I got a Quran. So we're going to read right out of the Quran what Muhammad says. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad. He calls himself a prophet, but he don't have any prophecies. So we're going to go to you, fact, the I Quran. Can I have that? Can I have that? Can I talk to you for a second? bike back. You know I wouldn't trip. What bike? The beach cruiser. The one I let you use a couple of weeks ago. The one I've been asking you about. Oh, that bike. Hey, no, you wanted it back, homie? It's right here. Follow me, homie. Yeah, it's just like it's both ours. We'll just keep it down at my house. Cool. Now, I mean, we, we need it to, uh, to be able to show people, so we're going to show you what he says about the Israelites. Go right here. This is the cow. This is right out of the Quran. The cow, 122. O children of Israel, call to mind my favor which I bestowed upon you. And that I made you ascend the nations. Ouch. So it's saying I made you above the nations. So Muhammad, the so-called prophet, he's telling you that the Israelites are above all nations. He's telling you the same thing out of the Bible. So what I'm saying is this is in the Quran. So what I'm saying is I'm not saying you're arguing, brother. What I'm saying is we was we reading right out of the Quran, bro. No, this is right out of your book. How, how did we lose you? You was already lost, bro. You should have set your ass back in that fucking chair. Whatever, bro. He's doing fine keeping you sleep. You want to stay asleep. He ain't want to hear that coming out of his book. So y'all saw that. He got cut with his own book. Couldn't handle it. Got cut with his own book. He had to flee the scene. Man, we not out here to fight our people, man. We out here to teach our people. I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. 
by subscribing to join IUIC. We'll assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.